Hi everyone and welcome to this week's update from Parkinson's Queensland. Firstly, to those of you that provided us feedback on the Voluntary Assisted Dying Bill, thank you for getting back to us and sharing your thoughts with us. If you haven't yet provided us feedback, um, as I mentioned in the last video, the bill is now sitting before a parliamentary committee. We will be lodging a submission on behalf of the Parkinson's community. You still have time to get your feedback into us, so um, please um, send us your feedback via email, uh, or you can even just call the office and, uh, and speak to a member of the team. So um, please continue to do that. For those of you that live in the Logan region, I'm pleased to say that we will have uh, a kickoff meeting of uh, the Logan group on the 21st of July. Um, those of you that live in the Logan area will know that uh, for almost a year now, there have been no support group meetings in Logan. Uh, in part because of COVID, but also because our long-standing coordinator had to step down for health reasons and, um, and it's been difficult to find a replacement. Uh, but we do want to get something up and running in the Logan region. We are conscious that there are a large number of you in that area. So on July the 21st, we will be holding a meeting. Um, stay tuned for details of the venue and the time. Uh, we'll be sending that, that out via social media and also on our website. Um, for those of you that may have missed this week's webinar with Sarah Davies, our uh, occupational, uh, occupational therapist and UQ PhD candidate, it will be available on the website shortly. We'll have a link there to the webinar. Uh, Sarah spoke about a new research project that she is leading uh, around a new uh, methodology to help people with Parkinson's with activities of daily living. So if you want to know more, um, please jump on our website. On July the 8th, our ne next webinar is Professor Sandy Brower from the University of Queensland also, um, and uh, she's a physiotherapist who is going to be talking about all things exercise and Parkinson's. So make sure that um, you jump on the website and register for that. That's on July the 8th. And then later in July, we'll have two more webinars. So we've got a series of them back to back now coming up uh, with Amy Jones, a movement disorder clinical nurse, who will be talking about apomorphine and duodopa. So uh, a number of really informative webinars over the next few weeks, so stay tuned to that. Um, now, as you know, um, we, over the past 12 months, have been trying to build the support that we can provide all of you, and it's a goal of ours to continue to do that. Um, sadly, the health component of the state budget that was recently handed down had no money for Parkinson's. Um, we will continue to speak to the Health Minister and advocate strongly on behalf of the Parkinson's community so that um, all of you have more access to services. In the meantime, though, we've got some pretty ambitious plans and, uh, and we want to continue to grow and improve um, all of the support that we provide you. So uh, we're going to continue to fundraise and uh, for those of you that that would like to help us out, you can do that in a number of ways. Uh, you can make a donation directly to Parkinson's Queensland, of course, um, but also now you can purchase an entertainment book um, through us and, and you'll have discounts to a whole range of different uh, activities across, um, across the Brisbane region. Uh, and those of you that are athletic um, can even uh, register to join the Bridge to Brisbane. We so far have eight runners that are taking part in the Bridge to Brisbane and have made Parkinson's Queensland their chosen charity. We'd like to have a big team. So if you're into running, you can register to join the Bridge to Brisbane and nominate Parkinson's Queensland as your charity. Now, of course, a reminder that the team are here to help all of you and support all of you. So if you need any information, uh, if you need um, some of our information sheets, if you would like to take um, advantage of our telephone peer support program, or you would like to know about um, particular support services in your local area, don't hesitate, get in touch with the office. We're here to help all of you. So please either call or send us an email and we will respond as quickly as we can. That's all from me for this week. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. See you next time.